The permanent highway bridge, which is 300 meters to your left, was observed by the scout in the OH-58. He has reported that it appeared severely damaged. He estimated it to be unusable for vehicles and beyond repair. It is now imperative that the engineers working on the aggressive bridge to your right complete their repair before the armor task force arrives. can now observe two cranes with two of the battalion command and reconnaissance vehicles M114A1E1. Their primary purpose for being inserted at this time is to supplement the battalion commander's communication with his company. One of the vehicles is carried beneath each crane. This vehicle is a highly mobile and versatile tool of the ground command. It has a maximum speed of 60 kilometers per hour, a cruising range of 300 miles, and it is armed with a 20 millimeter cannon. This weapon has a rate of fire of 800 to 1,050 rounds per minute with an effective range of 1,000 to 1,500 meters. Ammunition and other supplies will continue to come forward during the heavy lift in order to reinforce the airhead. Intelligence reports indicate that the aggressors, while generally withdrawing, are attempting to organize a counterattack against the airhead. The Air Cavalry Troop has been given the mission to screen the airhead on the northeast since the aggressor reserve force is reported to be in that area. The scouts can be seen on the horizon near landing zone one. In the meantime, armed land forces in contact with the 3rd Brigade's Armor Task Force have become disorganized and are offering little resistance. As a result, our Armor Task Force has completed the link-up with the forces on the southern portion of the airhead. Armor vehicle launch bridges have been rushed forward with security to begin bridging operations. To your left, left comes the first of the security elements. 